Now, your WCBX Pinpoint Weather with Chief Meteorologist Jordan Dressman. Well, despite the fact that it was just a touch on the chilly end of the spectrum this afternoon, overall it was a beautiful Wednesday afternoon across the entire Tennessee Valley. We saw plenty of sunshine and Pinpoint Viper, as you can see, did not pick up on a single drop of rain through the morning, the afternoon, the evening. It was nice and quiet, and I'm confident we're going to stay that way, not as we head into the overnight, but over the next couple of days as well. And that's a good thing because we don't need the rain. Maybe it'll help the couple of flood warnings we do still have across different portions of the Tennessee Valley, both of which involve the Tennessee River. The first of which is the Tennessee River at Florence. It remains under a flood warning until Saturday morning. Currently, it's sitting at 21.3 feet flood stage, right around 18 feet. We're also talking about a flood warning for the Tennessee River at Whitesburg. That remains in effect until Friday night. Currently, it's sitting at 17 and a half feet flood stage, at around 17 feet. So far this month, we have seen more than our fair share of rain. The Shoals has picked up 4.3 inches. On average in the whole month, they see 4.35 inches. At the Huntsville International Airport, seen 3.58 inches this month. On average for the whole month, they see right around 4.32 inches. So to say we're ahead of schedule, might just be a bit of an understatement. This picture has absolutely nothing to do with the weather. I just thought it was adorable, so I wanted to show you. Uh, we got this picture texted to us. The guy told me, he said, my wife puts the bear in a different scene every single day because it makes people smile. As you can see today, the bear is working diligently on his office work. From home, of course. If you'd like to send us your pictures of anything positive, or maybe you have a weather photo, or even a weather question, we'd love to get them. The number there is 256-382-2692, and I will respond to you personally. It was cold this morning across all of North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Some of us got down to that freezing mark. Muscle Shoals saw 32, Meridianville saw 32, Scottsboro, Decatur, Coleman all started the day right around 33 degrees. We did manage to warm up through the afternoon, still well below average. We finished the day in the upper 50s and lower 60s, a good 10 to 12 degrees off from where we should be this time of year. Once again, we'll be cold tonight. I've got a low here in Huntsville, right around 37 degrees, and generally that's where everybody else is going to fall to as well, 36, 37, 38. For that reason, another frost advisory will go into effect early tomorrow morning. It'll expire at eight o'clock. Be sure to either A, cover your plants or B, just bring them inside if you can do that. We are going to be a little warmer tomorrow afternoon. I've got a high in the mid and upper 60s, 65, 66 degrees with plenty of sunshine. Through Thursday, we're going to begin to see a bit of a pattern change as an area of high pressure continues to push its way east. That allows our winds to become a little more southerly, especially as we head into Friday afternoon and through Friday evening. But a cold front is going to knock on our door and that's going to bring the opportunity for just a little bit of rain. And you'll notice those rain opportunities in the seven-day forecast. Other than that, it's really not a bad seven-day. We're going to begin to warm things up a little bit. By Friday, we are back in the lower 70s. A couple of scattered showers are possible on Saturday. It looks like our best chance of rain going to come either Sunday or Wednesday of next week. To look at your forecast.